Get your blue monsters at the ready, girls. We're in for a... Ah! Shocking one. Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. Oh, do you know what it is? Do you know what today is? It's time for another episode of The Swan Girls. I cannot believe it's come round again, my lovelies. Every two weeks we do an episode of The Swan and today we are on episode five. Can you actually believe it? We're like getting close to the pageant, girls, the pageant. Can you actually imagine going to this pageant? You'd literally be like, what have I been invited to? What is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to another boiling hot day today in London. My hair, you can very much see that my hair is like, I don't like the heat. I'll have none of that, thank you. Time for a frizz bomb. And also, because you guys keep asking me what my lipsticks are in my videos. This is Raspberry Tiramisu by Beauty Bakery and it is their Lip Whip formula. But I will let you know that you do actually need two coats to get it this full like raspberry fantasy. So the amount of love that this series is getting is unprecedented for anything on my Chanel my loves. I do always want you to know or at least the takeaways from these videos that I would like you to have is I'm not anti plastic surgery. I'm just anti competing for plastic surgery. I think that that is totally incorrect and may lead you to make decisions that you might regret later on in life. And the thing is, you can't get second opinions and you're gonna get a brow lift, even if you don't want it, girls. Don't want it, it's a scandal, girls. Just to let you guys know, we have It's a Scandal Girls merch available in the description box below. And if I do say so myself, I'm so happy with the design, so happy. Stay tuned for more merch coming soon, ooh. Well, my loves, because these videos always take about an hour, I would say these videos usually are about an hour. Get your beverages ready, get your beverages ready. Mm, the blue one, delicious. Make sure you pop your orhanger in. Orhanger, orhanger, orhanger. And it's time to watch The Swan Girls. Who will move on to the pageant? And who will go home? The excitement continues tonight on The Swan. The Swan Girls! I'm Amanda Byron and welcome to The Swan. The oh, a princess cut fairy dress. Maybe she's been on bridal plasty. Maybe she's going to get married, girls. What drama are you going to serve me this week, Amanda? Most unusual competition ever devised. Oh, the man service. Now, we've yeah. already seen four women make oh, it to the Swan pageant. Necklace. Tonight, a team of world class plastic surgeons and experts will put two more women through the... Can I just say, I love this eyeshadow on Amanda. Whoever's done this like teal fantasy to match the dress, absolutely iconic makeup, love it. Would have liked a thicker brow, but you know, it was 2004. Most radical transformations ever attempted. But only one of tonight's women will change enough to earn a spot in the pageant and have her chance to be change found enough. the swan. They don't need to change. That's rude. Who made these titles? They were on LSD, girls. LSD simulator. Gout. The swan. Come on. Welcome, team of experts. Different transition. It's time to meet the first of our two competitors. Wait, and they're all wearing the same clothes from every single episode. Do you think this was filmed like after all of this had happened and they put them all in this one single day? Do you think that had happened? Oh, it's the scandal girls. I love like trying to deconstruct what um, production was up to and their storylines because, oh, what a hideous plant in the background. Look at that, awful. Lovely cauldron, hideous plant. Tinder bio, anyone? Andrea Morris is a 29 year old from Andrea. Westminster, Colorado. Let's see oh. what happens when we surprise yes. her. Yes, she is. Yes, everybody nods. Oh, yes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god, I am it. Oh my god. I've always been self-conscious about my nose a little bit, my hair, your my nose. chest size. I always feel frumpy. Your hair, look good. at your hair. What love it. Do you know, people in the 80s would have murdered for that amount of volume in your hair, my love. I hate the fact that you've been bullied as a child about these things about you because they are glorious, glorious girls. My body. <laughs> the that was quite the hairstyle in though. my early 20s. I tried going to dermatologists. I tried different skincare lines. It hurts to look in the mirror and to see all the scars and all Acne the memories. Acne is life destroying. All the names I've been called. One time we were at a nightclub in Denver and my ex-boyfriend called me Scarface. He called you what? There's an, he's an ex for a reason, sis. 
that man should be known as like bollockhead. Absolutely disgusting. Imagine talking about someone you fell in love with in those visceral terms. God, I bet he was a man scorned, wasn't he? Awful. Stop being hateful towards people. It's not difficult, is it? Like stop bullying people for things that they cannot change. You could say, oh my gosh, are you sure you meant to dye your hair that brassy yellow when you bleached it? But like to, to make that is fundamentally different to pick on someone for their skin type. God, people are so cruel, aren't they? We will never see aliens, never. I nearly knocked my drink over there. Did you see the panic, girls? I was like, so hurt. Did my looks prevent me from being happy with Brian and my son in Bakery. She can be really bubbly and outgoing and friendly or she can be where she doesn't want to do anything and doesn't want to go anywhere and she's depressed and I think a lot of it is just her insecurities about herself. No, well, maybe, but also, no, that level of like, um, how to, well, nowadays, she might have been diagnosed with something quite different and got the help that she needed. These sorts of things really add up. If you struggle with anxiety and you struggle with depression, these two words, they are thrown around very, very easily. I feel like when someone says like, oh, I'm depressed, it's very different to actually have clinical de uh, depression rather than just like to jokingly describe yourself as depressed. Like, clinical depression is debilitating and requires like almost lifelong treatment realistically for people with MDD, major depressive disorder. I feel like a lot of the things back in 2004, we just didn't know the words like how to explain what the level of help was that was needed. I feel like a lot of people back then were just like, oh, you're feeling sad, get on with it. Like that's not, that's this. It's, it's impossible to get on with it because it's not that you're normal and being lazy. It's that you are ill. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's oh, ludicrous. My insecurities Blah. I'm afraid are gonna affect me and Zachary's life because um, I don't want him to grow up to be insecure. When she's in a bad mood, no one wants to she'll take it out on me, but what yeah. I try to get across to her is Dad Zach doesn't know that if she's yelling at me that she's yelling at me, not at him. She gets upset about things and, and just can't let go. She just can't. Well, that's because that's indicative of something deeper, isn't it? It's not just, I've stubbed my toe and I'm upset, girls. There's it, clearly, there is something that therapy is needed for here. Going on the swan, although it will give you some revitalization of your outer shell, you also need to revitalize your inner shell. And not once, I bet, were these any of these contestants told that that was like a thing that should go alongside because, well, maybe reality TV back in the day didn't even know. Like, it's very much a reflection of the culture of the times, isn't it? Mmm. I think that our relationship will eventually end if I don't take care of some of my insecurities. And I don't want it. What was that scene? Were they just like, can we film you hugging your husband and then like close the door and solemnly look out the window? They really love their B-roll footage, don't they, in this show? Do that to Zach. You know, because that'll be my fault that his dad's not around. Oh, Andrea. That's hard to think about. <sighs> Wow. Okay, well, it seems from the outset Time for vultures. that acne is the major issue here with Andrew, but she talks about insecurities constantly. I mean, what else is going on there? She needs to go deeper than her skin. Yeah. Absolutely. And we're not you... sure where, but that would be something we need to explore in therapy to figure out what those deeper issues are. What about the practicalities of clearing up her skin? Uh, she's got two problems. She's got active acne and she's got chronic acne scarring. So she needs a program to get control of her active acne. And that is the most sensible thing I've heard Dr. Dubrowlift say this entire series is that she needs a program that's going to help with her active acne. Now, I wonder what it's going to suggest that is. Is it a brow lift by any chance? And there's some laser therapy to get rid of her acne. Scarring. Laser, what okay. I see that I would like to do a brow lift on her. And <laughs> <do a nose laughs> <and pop> <laughs> it's ludicrous, ludicrous, ludicrous. Uh, I'll lift up the corners of her mouth, buckle fat pad removal just to get a little bit more fat, definition yes. to her cheekbones, buckle some cavity. liposuction underneath her chin, and then do some full body liposuction and breast <gasps> augmentation. Full and body liposuction. Dr. Wara, she has one tooth that needs to be extracted, and she has decay on all of her front teeth. Extensive How could you? decay. We can make her an absolutely decay. gorgeous smile and that will go along with Randall's surgery and look beautiful. Mm. So you think we can turn her into the romantic, sexy woman she wants to be? Yes. Mm -hmm. <gasps> 
Andrea's swan plan oh. will include several procedures oh, starting on, rotate, with girls. She'll have CO2 laser treatment, extensive dermatology, a nose job, a brow lift, fat removal from her cheeks and chin, fat transfer to her lips, and LASIK eye surgery. Oh, she's going to get fat transfer to the lips. Okay, interesting. Probably the only thing there that I would say nowadays, I'd be like, if you wanted bigger lips, go for it, my love. But does she really need any of the other things? I don't know if maybe that's... Um, what's the phrase? I don't like to say the phrase victim of circumstance, but I feel like a lot of our self-esteem issues come from the surroundings that we are at at that time. Um, life is a journey and I'm always an advocate for plastic surgery, but make sure you're doing it for yourself and for the right reasons. Make sure you get a little bit of therapy before you go in for them, not during and after before so that you understand maybe that like, maybe you have a problem with something that can't necessarily be fixed, or maybe you have a problem with something that has to be fixed in a very specific way and you're not sure about it. Like, unless you do all these things, you'll never know. But once again, I can't get over the fact of how much they put them through. And that, like the CO2 laser alone has like a huge downtime for your skin to heal whilst you are healing from a nose job and fat transfer and liposuction and a brow lift. Like, what? She'll have breast augmentation and liposuction in four different areas. <sighs> At the dentist, Andrea will have Zoom bleaching, Da Vinci veneers, gum tissue oh, recontouring she's have and deep cleaning. Gum tissue For recontouring. For her extensive decay, she'll have a root canal and tooth extraction. Okay. For her fitness transformation, Andrea will be put on a 1300 calorie a day diet. Oh, she gets 100 calories more than everyone else. I wonder why. I wonder why that is. That's a bit scandalabra, girls. Diet and will spend over 120 hours in the gym. She will also undergo therapy and coaching to build self-esteem and learn how to control her emotional outbursts. Learn how to control her emotional outbursts. Maybe we need to find the triggers for those emotional outbursts first before we can learn how to control them. Oh, that, that language is so archaic, isn't it? Control yourself, you crazy woman. That's very much what it comes across as. Oh, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Let's meet our next competitor, Belinda Bassant. Oh, Belinda! Las Vegas, Nevada. Belinda from Las Vegas. She sent me a lovely email the other day. Hello, Belinda. I know you watch. Big love to you, my love. My name is Belinda. I'm Ooh. 28 years old. We just saw Elvis here a couple of days ago. I used 28. to have the perfect body and I used to be pretty and and I used to, you know, be able to walk down the street and have guys chasing me. And not oh, it's not that. it's not cracked up now, to what it's been though, has it? It makes me feel horrible. <gasps> Growing up, I was so tall and so skinny. I heard from everybody, you should be a model. Gorgeous. And so I thought, well, I'll try it. And it was great. I loved it. And um, I formed a model. I ended up with the wrong guy. I've been married two times. I won't want to talk to any of the men from my past. Because they're not in the good bin. people. In the and bin. Just All kind of them. I've ended up in several abusive relationships. <gasps> Alcoholic, drug user, something along those lines. Oh my dream. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This show should have immediately said, right, what we're going to do is make sure that you've passed the psychoanalysis to get even on this show to allow us to do all the horrible things that we're planning on putting you through in one go. Because if you are fragile going in, imagine being fragile after you come out. That is absolutely wild. Belinda, my goodness. For myself is to learn to know that I deserve someone to treat me good. Don't we all? I feel oh, sad a lot of times because <gasps> Hello, I know Brenda. She's had a lot of broken a lovely dreams, jean jacket. And I don't know what to do oh. for her, you know. I think Belinda's biggest insecurity is her weight. When I look in the mirror, I see, is he really a big fat cow? Getting pregnant changed my whole metabolism, changed my whole body type, changed everything. It does, yeah. Those are fishes and those beautiful are birds. family, though. Yes, they are. Yeah. I live for my son. My son is who I live for. That's why I'm here right now. Oh, look I at the I geese! Like I'm just existing right now. I'm kind of in this. The space swan where girls. I don't foresee how to get myself out of it. I'm not really happy. Oh, they're, they're editing there. Bombshell girls. Story. Now, Dr. Yanni, do you think this is something you can resolve? 
She resolve. Had a lot of resolve. Resolve. Resolve is such a strong word in this context. I don't think you can just resolve these things that have happened. You can provide coping mechanisms, of course, but not in three months isn't going to make a difference. And you can't even see her every month because you'll be recovering from surgery. This, oh, no. Not having it. Not having it. Strength and a lot of health. And then something must have happened that changed that. I'm excited to work with her. What are you talking about surgery-wise? I mean, because for her, the major issue seems to be weight. She wants a breast lift. She needs liposuction. She needs a lot of training. It's going to be a tough, arduous process with her. I can get her on a strong aerobics routine, but I'd probably start having her run. But you can give her face immediate weight loss by doing chin liposuction, taking fat out of the cheeks, getting her eyes opened up, doing a brow lift. You can make another brow easy. lift. Like she's lost a lot of weight in the face. She reminisces about having the guys chasing her. Do you think we can have them chasing her up the street again? <laughs> Absolutely. Do we want that? I mean... Melinda's plan features several procedures, starting oh, with her Oh, God, they really, made her, they really made her spin round then, didn't they? Off she goes, girls, twirling, twirling, twirling towards freedom. Goodness me, it is suddenly just like torrential downpour outside, so I do apologise if you can hear it. She'll have a brow lift, a mid-face lift, <gasps> fat transfer to her lips, lower eye and cheek fat removal, oh, pirouette. several visits to the dermatologist and LASIK eye surgery. Okay. For Belinda's body, okay. she'll have a breast reduction and lift and liposuction in six different areas. Her dental procedures will include zoom bleaching, a bridge for her front teeth, Da Vinci veneers, gum tissue recontouring, cleaning, and a root canal. This For is her so fitness much. transformation, Belinda will be put on a 1200 calorie a day <gasps> diet and will spend over 120 hours in the gym doing cardio and high repetition weight training. Oh, weight she will training, also okay. She weekly therapy and coaching to improve her sense of self worth. Oh, they really love they really love to put the contestants in the most unflattering outfit to make you kind of go, yeah, yeah, she needs all this, yeah. I bet everyone back in 2004 was like, oh my God, I want to all also wear a grey bikini and go on this show. Because I know for a fact I would have been in that pool as well. I'd have been like, yeah, 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 give me liposuction in 19 places. I need it, girl. Cankles, girl. Can you hear that rain? And end her cycle of abusive relationships. Well, time is ticking, so let's... I do not think a TV show should be able to say we're going to end your cycle of abusive relationships. I think that is an incredible failure of ethics, actually, because how can you say that to someone? You're coming on a reality TV show, we're going to film your trauma, make money from your trauma, and then we're going to tell you that we can fix your trauma. Granted, they won't. Three months of therapy is not enough to even begin treating, like, years and years and years and years of trauma and PTSD from former relationships. I feel like I feel like that's really obscene to even suggest that they could do that. Rude, it's rude and makes me ill. Oh, pixels, girls. We love our pixel Day girls. One of the three month Day one of the 3-month program. Wow. Welcome to your Airbnb. Linda is ready to get her model figure back and put an end to her cycle of abusive relationships. Oh my god. I won't want to talk to any of the men from my past. Good. Not good In the people. bin. In the her competitor bin. Andrea is here hoping the acne scars she's been teased about all her life can be erased and to learn how to deal with her emotional outbursts. I think our relationship will eventually end if I don't that take language care of my language is quite harmful, I find. So expecting this and no mirror. Neither of our competitors no will see their reflection until their final reveals. Unless you look in the sink full of water or in a spoon or in the windows at night or in the shower curtain rail very close up. You see on the left here, they've got a very shiny sink faucet. I wonder if you could see a reflection in that. Mm. Wow. We have covered every mirror from their apartment to the oh. gym. Ah, aha, aha, aha. So they've taken them to this public gym and they've covered all the mirrors. <laughs> So that was something we have only just learnt here on episode five. Isn't that interesting? Oh, it's very interesting. This program begins now. Wow. <gasps> Andrea's first step is a visit with her plastic surgeon. How are you? We finally meet. Yes. <laughs> nice to meet you. So basically for your skin, the CO2 laser is a gold standard. The CO2 laser vaporizes the top layers of skin, but it can't remove scarring deeper than these layers. Okay. People sometimes have unrealistic expectations, thinking that they're going to have beautiful baby skin. Applying this technology to you, I would expect you probably to get anywhere between a 40 to 70 percent improvement. Ooh, 40 to 70 percent improvement. That's a massive scale right there. Imagine if you went for a promotion and they and they said to you, "We can offer you between a 40 and 70 percent pay rise." 
Which one would you like the most? That feels so, like, disingenuous. A little bit disingenuous. I wonder how he's going to measure the percentage of success. Hmm? I'm really disappointed that he said that my skin may not come out better than 40 to 70 percent because that's the main thing that, you know, I'm worried about. I guess I just hope for the best, the 70 percent. Could <laughs> yeah, could you, could you not, like... I don't know very much about CO2 laser technology, and I don't know if it's still like the gold standard now, uh, almost 20 years later. Could you not do that twice? Could you, if you burnt down the layer of your skin and then like forced it to like rejuvenate, the scarring that's lower, would that not be in some way disrupted by some amount? And then maybe in two years time or a year's time or something like that, get another CO2 laser treatment and further push those scars out? Is that not something that could happen? Or do you think that's like, am I, am, is that a bit of a pipe dream on my behalf? Hmm. Hmm, I just don't know, you see, don't know. Is there no way of doing like hyaluronic acid filler, but like for rejuvenation of skin in this day and age? You know, like when you get like lots of little areas filled, so it like plumps up all of the skin. Is that not a way to fill, to, to deal with like deep acne scarring? I don't, I'm not very clued up on acne scarring, my loves. I'm just not. Andrea may be setting herself up for disappointment with unrealistic expectations. While Belinda the swan is unrealistic. The diet will play in her transformation. Oh, hello. Welcome to Jenny Craig. Jenny Craig. Let's see what your weight is. Craig. Jenny Craig. Craig. <laughs> 187. Oh, sorry, what was that little, like, zoom noise then? Oh, come on. Do we have to do all this? 7.4. That's too much. I need to lose... At least 30 of those. Sticking to her diet will be crucial if Belinda wants to make it to the Weird pageant. Sound effects. Oh Next yes, of course, the pageant. The surgery will play in her transformation. I think Belinda has always had a problem with large breasts, meaning she gets headaches, she gets neck pain, and she wants improvement in her symptoms. That can completely be delivered with a breast reduction. Did we, did we get told any of that? Do you think that was maybe said at a consultation and we, we weren't privy to that information? If that's the case, this is more of like a medical treatment rather than a cosmetic treatment, right? So that's... That's probably the most, like, soft I feel towards Dr. Dubrowlift at any point in this season so far. He's almost providing a medical intervention here rather than just being like, Let's get your massive tits, girls! You're double D now. Mm -hmm. Double to D, a large wow. C, it's about two size reduction. Very doable. doable We're going to do guys. a partial liposuction to sort of reduce the overall size of the breast wow. and a lift as well. Okay, let's talk this about... Is the, the first body. breast reduction this, we see. This is sort of the fatty deposit mm -hmm. that we talked about. You're not the perfect candidate for liposuction in that you're not at your ideal body right. weight, but it can really help you a lot. We do it all in the entire abdomen and into wow. the back area. That's where it Way, what did you just say? You're not an ideal candidate for this surgery, but we're going to do it anyway. Ethics, perhaps, anybody? Mm. I think Belinda will be really happy with her results. She's the kind of patient we love you to just see said because she has such a great that she's attitude. she's not an ideal I can't patient. wait to see the end result. I'm so excited. Oh, me. Belinda I can't wait either. Belinda is enthusiastic about beginning her physical transformation. Meanwhile, Andrea learns that there's a high price to pay for neglecting her teeth. Andrea does have a tooth on the side. Oh, gosh. She has extensive gosh. decay in that tooth. So tooth she's drills. that tooth extracted. Just a little oh. nervous about that. Yeet the yeah. tooth. Answer. Nervous? Why are you nervous this about this? Might be fractured. You can see she's oh. got decay going way down. Wait, 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 wait. Who is this other dentist we've just been like shown and is doing work? Is this not the. Is, uh, so wait, so wait, well, is there a difference between cosmetic dentistry and like dentistry dentistry? Mm hmm. Is this like, maybe this is an orthodontist? Annabelle's back, girls, and she's got a tooth drill. So you're gonna lose that tooth. Okay. <gasps> Sorry. Oh. Um, it just adds to everything. Oh. You okay? I knew I needed a crown on it, but I couldn't afford to get one. That, that is a huge problem that we still hear today is that unfortunately teeth are for some reason deemed by like med the medicine world that we live in that like they're an expenditure that's as acceptable in this world for some reason like your teeth are never covered by things even in the uk you have to pay quite considerable amounts to get your like teeth fixed even if it's just one tooth this this isn't fun it's not fun to talk about problems like this because they are real impactful problems that not only cause pain but can cause ongoing damage and it's so frustrating that None of our medical industries are getting their act together. Come on, teeth are not a commodity. We need them to live. Here's the deal. The worst thing is this one too. It's not a big deal. I just wish I could have taken care of it before it got this bad. It's too bad we had to pull this tooth. A little hygiene and maintenance could have prevented this. 
Well, thank you, lady. Andrea to break down. Her emotional instability may affect her chances of making it to the pageant. Does it look like, does it look like this contestant needs to go to a beauty pageant? In this mental state, should you perhaps be providing more mental health awareness and more mental health treatment? Or do you think you should just ridicule her for not being well enough to go to a pageant? Hmm? All of this show is ill. As past participants of the SWAM program know, the hardest part is being away from home. Belinda yes, misses her young son. Hi, Mama. Hi, pretty. How's my baby? I love you too much. Oh. But I want to get you to a little one. I know, honey, but Mommy can't. I don't have any more time. <sighs> but I do love your whole world, okay? But, Mama, I want to come home right now. Oh. Honey, I know. Knives to the I'm heart. I'm going to come home. It won't be a lot longer, okay? Oh, a little longer a big longer. It's going to be a big longer, but, you know, I miss you a whole bunch. I do get homesick. I miss my baby. Oh. But I want to be the best mother out there. And if I can't love myself and love my life, I'm never going to be able to give that love fully to someone else. Belinda do you know, in a, in a strange way, in a strange way, so RuPaul always says this thing, if you can't love yourself, how are you going to love anybody else? I actually kind of feel like that's, that's such a simplistic view of like this world of dysmorphia and dysphoria that exists within bodies, I find it very easy to love others. And I find it exceptionally difficult to love certain things about myself. I feel like that's a fundamental human experience. And to just be like, no, don't say all that. It's easy. Yeah. New age nonsense. I feel like it's actually quite detrimental to the human psyche to suggest that if you can't love yourself, then nobody else is deserving of your love is quite a big thing to say that I don't necessarily agree with. I would love to hear what you guys think about this in the comments below, because obviously everyone is going to have a different perception on what that sentence means. And I find it, I don't know, I just find it's not, it's not helpful. You know what I mean? It's not helpful to overall growth of, of yourself as a human being on this plane of existence, girls. What do you think? I got deep, didn't it, girls? to begin her surgical transformation. Deep like Lake Placid. Right now I'm feeling nervous, scared, excited. You know, this is such a big dream to have it is. Oh, come true. That it's door. hard to believe it's really true. Not only am I working on my physical, but I'm also working on breaking the cycle of bad men in my life. I know she has some history of abuse in her past, and it's really great to be able to give her a, a gift like this through the SWAN program to really transform her both from the inside and the outside. This is, I this is for a TV program, Dr. DeBrowlift. This is a TV program. Why are you saying all this? Suspicious. Mm. Hi, Belinda. Hi. How are you? Good. All right, so we're going to do liposuction. This is really going to improve these effects? your contour here. Boom. Belinda's Rotating very nice, game. elastic, tight skin. Oh. Good skin retraction. Oh. And she'd really have a good result. Oh. Why is it always, I always, whenever it comes to liposuction, I feel like the doctors always move, maybe they have to do this, and I'm just going to be a bit irate here for a second, but do you remember those awful, 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 like, electric knives that were, like, big in the 70s for cutting, like, Christmas meats? And they'd always be like, nun, nun, nun. For some reason, liposuction, watching people do liposuction, really, really makes me feel like I'm watching a Christmas ham being dissected in the 70s, girl. So weird. So strange. And just think, in this day and age, you don't even need tin liposuction. That's even a step too far now. You can get things like Kybella or Aqualix to do the same thing without having to be put under anesthetic. It's just an injection and you end up filtering out the excess fat in the area via your lymphatic system and it comes out in your pee pee girls. You see how nice and golden the fat is. A lot of cheeseburgers in the tube. With Belinda's breasts, we're going to reduce her breast size about one and a half cup, and we're going to lift the breasts up to a better position. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. Belinda. Looks good. Very happy. Belinda oh. really needs feminization to her face. We're going to oh, start with an endoscopic brow lift, open up her I, eyes. I hate the fact that they say feminization to the face. Like, I don't think Belinda needs a brow lift, but this show seems to have got on a two for eight offer on brow lifts for some reason. And we're going to try by taking some of the fat out of her cheeks and her chin and put some fat into her upper lip. Once we do oh that, I expect her to make a major transformation. This. Liposuction's for body contouring, not for weight loss. So Belinda's gonna need to stick to the program she wants. Ooh, that's an interesting sound bite we have there. Liposuction is for body contouring and not for weight loss. So that kind of transforms my idea about what liposuction really is. Ooh, 
Oh, okay. Interesting. Let's put a pin in that and move on, shall we? Yes, uh? To make it to the pageant. Oh, pageant. Linda has Piss the pageant girl. Out for her, but a good attitude goes a long way. Mm. Meanwhile, it's Andrea's day of surgery, and she's suffering another emotional breakdown. Oh. Maybe she's not ready for all this. I, I know I'm in good hands and everything. You know, it's just I'm nervous. I'm going into surgery. I'm just scared. It's yes. some, some people get nauseous. Other people cry. You're a crier. Yeah. Okay. Don't, the thing is, the thing is, if that... In, so maybe it's just me, but I really wanted to be a cosmetic surgeon at one point in my life. I even considered actually going to medical school after my biochemistry degree in order to really understand and perhaps become a cosmetic surgeon. You know, that was something on my mind. I just thought in that interaction there, if you're looking down at someone crying because, you know, something is happening, I, in my human, in my human emotive empathy mind, I, what I would have done in that situation, I'm not a plastic surgeon, I know, I would have knelt down and looked up and just been like, I am here to make you the best that you can be, my lovely, and you will absolutely get through this and everything is going to be fine. Not look down and go, some people get nervous and sick, yeah, you'll be fine. I don't know, there's lots of like intonations to humans' interactions that just, I don't get through this show. I don't get caring, positive vibes. I get like laddish, broski nonsense that I'm just, I'm not here for at all. Everybody is nervous before surgery. It is normal to be it nervous. Is. It is. I think that perhaps afterwards she's going to have a lot of anxiety and we'll find out. Now so what are you going to do about it? And she doesn't need much. She just needs a little touch up. Oh my God. Andrea's body work didn't take that long. I'm now going to embark upon her facial procedures. Now I'm just going to complete her nose. What we're going to be doing now is to do the CO2 oh laser gosh, the laser. Improve her acne scar. <gasps> What's with the music? So Command and conquer, girls. Andrea is to have realistic expectations in terms of improvement. Wow. This is a special mask <gasps> that promotes healing. So we're finished A now. special mask that promotes healing. Everything was really smooth on uh, Andrea. Very, very smooth. Okay. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, and the blonde, blonde, blue, blue eyes. Andrea had a very intense laser treatment. Wow. She's still a little loopy now, but she's facing a tough recovery in the next few days. Wow. Oh, look at Andrea. Oh, no. Post-surgery always has a very specific look to it, doesn't it? I will probably end up looking exactly like this for a couple of weeks after my surgery. But what a beautiful set of lips um, Dr. Hayworth has, has given her. I know they're very intense right now, but like, oh, I just love big lips. Oh, I think they're so gorgeous. When we left our competitors, Belinda was missing her family. Mama, yes, naturally. I want to come home. But excited to begin her physical transformation. While Andrea's emotions seemed to overwhelm her at each step of the Over swan program. Just scared. She was excited to finally be rid of her embarrassing acne scars, but the harsh laser treatment will mean a tough recovery. You're telling us, Giles. Right. Damn. <gasps> Every part of my body hurts. Oh my God. Oh, Andrea, how are you? Of course what it does. Do Life... Take off your mask today, okay? And start to try to make you feel a little bit more human. Must be nice to get that off. When Andrea asked for this treatment, I warned it would be a difficult recovery, but no one is ever quite prepared for how hard it is. The no mirror policy is probably a blessing right now. This is just the beginning of a grueling recovery for Andrea. I have never, never seen a a, a procedure like that. Oh my gosh, that was a lot to watch, my lovelies. I don't think I'm gonna be able to put anything in here because Susan will catch me and go, no, not suitable, is it, girls? I'm I'm quite spooked that they decided to show that in quite that level of um, detail, should we say? I thought we'd already seen a CO2 laser at some point in this show back in like episode one or two. I don't remember seeing it quite in that drastic um, vision, though I must admit, lovelies. Mm. Well, Belinda is already feeling better just one day after surgery. Oh, Belinda is an awesome oh, good. patient. Take a look at her. It looks like she's about three weeks after her surgery. She's so strong. But oh. she has to stick to her diet if she wants to make it to the pageant. Hey, how are you? How many times have they put that, that 
soundbite into this show. It's like, they have to do X if they want to make it to the pageant. But can I just say, I am so, so glad that Belinda is doing well from this, uh, this thing at this point in 2005 or whenever it was 2004 2002 because full body liposuction is such a massive thing and like she seems she's she seems qu like quite good i'm doing great belinda's quick yeah. recovery will give her more time to focus on her weight loss program while andrea is still in a lot of <gasps> pain our swan coach checks in on her oh, progress for God's sake you're okay, just gonna make things worse hey you know it's gonna pass, right? You could do it. You can do it. Andrea is Well, I mean, that bedside manner then did seem quite caring, like softly stroking. I just hope that she wasn't trying to fill her head with nonsense about the pageant because quite clearly she's got a lot of healing to do. How on earth are they gonna do this 1,300 calories a day whilst 120 hours in the gym? Well, she's literally in bed healing from full body surgery. But a few days of healing go a long way toward lifting her spirits. Oh. I actually slept into a pretty bad depression for a few days. Yeah. Getting better though. Yeah. He seems to not care at all that she said that. Awesome, actually. This feels good to know that I am on my way. Andrea is looking better, but her skin still has a lot of healing to do. While Belinda's next hurdle is putting an end to her cycle of abusive relationships. The main God, thing the I want to change fix is my inability to pick a decent man. You know, I always end up with men who are abusive and mean and. No, I think the language around here needs to change. You don't always end up with them. They are finding you and preying on you. That's a totally different... This is not your fault that you are finding these men. The burden is on them for being just a massive piece of shit. I hate the way that these, these shows frame, like... Um, abusive relationships, like like you somehow stumble into them. No, people quite often ensnare others into them with malice on purpose. And it is absolutely disgusting. Don't change yourself because you seem like such a lovely, caring, very strong, independent person. And sometimes there are men in this world that will do absolutely anything to meet someone like you and tear you down. You do not need to change a thing about the way that you view yourself in this world when it comes to relationships. But at the same time, I do agree that everyone has little things that they can work at on themselves to make sure relationships like flourish. But like that doesn't apply to abusive relationships because abuse is never, never, never okay. Our swan coach is encouraging Belinda to stand up for herself like she has never done before. You are doing great. But I want you to go to the gym, use the punching bag, put up pictures of all these men that have done you wrong, and for once in your life, get mad. Get hard. I have been slapped, punched, this kicked by men that I fell in love with. Come on, Alan, you ready to do it? Come on. Okay, now you're just warming up. I have something to say as well about love. Love is a two-way street. If the if a person in your in your life is not treating you in a loving way, they absolutely do not love you. There is a wonderful, wonderful sentence that I'm trying to apply to my life right now, and it is, their level of effort indicates their level of interest. Apply it to everyone, my loves. Come on, Belinda, be like me now. Come on, hit it. Get on it, come on. <laughs> Great way for getting out of aggression. Vengeance, girls. Seek it. Destroy them all. Great to let out all my aggressions and just to get all that anger out of me. Yes. I'm never gonna let anyone touch me again. Yes. Belinda is one step excellent, closer to excellent. leaving her past behind. Why oh, aren't they trash? Now it's oh, time disgusting. for Andrea's progress report. She's been having trouble sticking to the program. <gasps> well, of course Andrea, she has. We're checking in, and I have a couple concerns. Okay. Let's talk about your diet. Okay. Let's not. You lost one pound. Mm. You're so. Thirty-eight. So? No. So? I came here weighing like 145. I'm gonna weigh in at 139. 145. 139. I think I look pretty damn good, and as soon as I tone up, I'm gonna be smoking. People yes. have been trying to weigh you, and you have a fit. No, I don't wanna no, be no, weighed. No. I don't understand why it's such a big deal that I don't wanna weigh in right at this moment. I'm running off the more than I have to go down and get on the scale, but right now, I just wanna be left alone. No, I haven't. Oh, yeah, you have. How about in the gym? You've been complaining in the gym. Wait, she's just 
just had full body surgery? Is she not allowed to go, actually, do you know what? Maybe not. Like, oh my God, this, this smarmy attitude that this like swan coach has. She's the girl I knew she was. Like, I am not interested at all. I have no time at all for that, that level of smarmy nonsense. Why don't we give you full body liposuction, a brow lift, cheek enhancement, a, a breast lift reduction, and then enhancement and a reduction, and then a tummy tuck, and then put you in the gym and see how you do on a 1200 calorie a day diet. Hmm? Madam? That's a damn lie. I've been working my ass off at the gym. Andrea comes into the gym and constantly complains. She needs to turn her what attitude is this around. Narrative? She even has a chance of making it to the pageant. Uh, well. Excuses. I just want to go home. Oh. Are oh you quitting? Goodness. Well, maybe she is. Andrea's She's a full adult. First has put her transformation in jail. Another emotional, emotional outburst. Like, what are you, what are you, what is this show's angle? This is driving me loopy girls, loopy girls. Oh, it's a bloody scandal, girls. Quickly, get everything out. Hideous. Andrea has anger management issues. If she wants to transform, she'll have to really evaluate her behavior. Since I when? a meeting with Nellie. I kind of just broke down and freaked out. Do you know what the payoff is for behaving like that? I don't. Think about it. You gotta recognize what you're getting from it or it's gonna be really hard to change. I felt like I had power and I was in control of the situation and I called the shots because I want to win. Do you win when you do what you do? Because even if you win the battle, you're losing the war. It just makes things a hundred times worse. Exactly. As hard what? as Andrea's physical transformation has been, it will be her inner transformation that will challenge her the most. Sorry, what was all that? I don't know how I feel about that. I actually do have quite complicated feelings about what we've just watched. Let me know what you think in the comments because I don't quite know if I agree there. They're almost making her out to be this like uncontrollable, emotional outburst, aggressively angry person when she's just been through full body surgery and doesn't want to weigh in and doesn't want to like work out immediately. You can't shout at flowers to make them grow. You give them everything they need to be nurtured. That doesn't make any sense. Belinda and Andrea are one month away from their final reveals. Wow. Belinda entered one the month. program determined to regain her model figure and break her cycle of abuse. Time for the recap. I have been slapped, the swan, punched, right? <gasps> kicked, and I'm ready to meet a decent, loving, caring man. And I deserve it. And I deserve it. Will she gain the confidence and lose the weight to earn herself a spot in the pageant? Andrea came in hopes of erasing the severe acne scars on her face. She had a grueling recovery and struggled with her volatile emotions. Volatile Will emotions. Will skin heal in time and can she stick to her transformation program? They're almost saying she's a massive problem and she should never have been on this show. Like, what is the angle of this? What weird. Wow. Really, really, really weird. Because not only that, when this woman, like, leaves the Swan program and this goes on television, everyone around her is going to see her as this type of person. This is where reality TV shows kind of, like, break down what's societally acceptable. Because, like, back in 2004, there would have been no aftercare of, like, being on a massive TV show. We heard in the first episode this was watched by 20 million people potentially 20 million people have seen her be painted in this light as a villain so it's like at no point was her welfare really considered do you know what i mean shocking really shocking on the swan the swan girls the swan girls oh here we are jeffrey star's house welcome back oh, to look. the swan andrea and belinda are in the final preparations for Oh, this was the same outfit you wore two weeks ago with that hateful shoe. Mmm, I smell tomfoolery, jiggery, pokery, girls. Their big reveal. Now, in a Who's moment, your lovely we'll teal see dress? the results of their transformations. Remember, it's been a month since we've seen them, and they haven't seen themselves in a mirror in nearly three months. Ima like, even that alone, even imagine never... See like, regardless of all the body-changing things that they're doing in this show, imagine not seeing your reflection for three months. Like, under normal circumstances. Imagine not seeing your reflection. How what a weird experience. Bizarre. Truly bizarre. I'm joined now by the team of experts who designed... Oh, hello, plans. cult members. Experts. Ooh. Now, I've got a dog on their head. concern was her deep acne scars. Dr. Hayworth, how radical was Who the are all these people? that you performed on her? I performed CO2 laser abrasion on yes. her skin and we got a yes. great result from in terms of her acne scarring. And I also did some other procedures on her as well. Just, so just some other things, just tidying up. A thousand words. Great. Right. Just some other Nelly, bits and bobs. I know that you and Andrea had quite a few run-ins during the show. 
Come oh, in. Oh, come on. Andrea has some anger management issues. She's now aware of them. I don't think we were able to solve them in the program, but hopefully she'll go home and realize that she has these issues to work out. Well, experts. What kind of nonsense was that? Those doors of brand new Andrea in just a moment. But first of all, I want to remind you what she looked like. No, no, it's hard to think about. Oh, God. Well, it's been a long, rocky road for our Andrea. So let's see if she finally made it to beauty pageant material. Oh, my material. God, come on. Here she is, Andrea Morris. Oh, manservants, do your job. Everybody clap. Bosoms! Bosoms! Ava, what is with the styling on this show? Why is everyone getting a wispy fringe? A wispy fringe didn't even look good in the mid-noughties. Nobody had a wispy fringe. What a lovely golden tan she has, though. My gosh, those are some bosoms. Oh, my God! She looks like... She looks like that actress. Ah! What's her name? The one who did the Carrie remake. Chloe Grace Moretz. That's what she reminds me of. Look. Oh, my gosh. How strange. How strange. But I do also feel like, for some reason, I feel like the brow lifts in this show make people's eyes look a little bit more, like, closed. I don't know. Do you, can, maybe they're still healing, I guess, if it's only three months later. That's kind of, like, a little bit strange. But maybe also they've kind of gotten her, if you notice on the left before picture, to frown slightly. Oh, tomfoolery, jiggery, pokery, afoot, girls. What a lovely dress, colour of dress. Very bosom. That's all I'm getting is bosom. Oh, she doesn't look uh, entirely comfortable. Come with me. Are you okay? <gasps> Yeah. <laughs> you look a bit stunned. <laughs> Andrew, you look... Can we just say, how uncomfortable did she look then? She was so, like, softly spoken and a bit meek. I wonder if the producers have, like, really gone in on her before all of this. <gasps> oh, I feel a bit, like, unwell. Absolutely incredible. Thank you. How are you feeling? feeling? Wonderful. I'm just so excited. To Why do they give them so many layers? You really look like a completely different person. Really? Oh, absolutely. You are one sexy lady. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Behind getting good curtain, vibes, girls. A mirror. Could it be when a wig? Ready, Is she wearing a wig, maybe? A wig? A wig? <gasps> How does that make you feel? I'm excited. You're starting oh to shake. Yeah. <laughs> Andrea? Mm hmm. Please. This whole back. interaction is so. Oh, Illuminati, the cult, this weird headshot above the woman, rotate the lady. Come on, curtain Ikea department. Oh. Hey, Andrea. <gasps> Are you ready? Yes. Come on, Andrea, you can do this, sis. <gasps> Cartier bracelet. I feel like we're watching oh dis I feel like we're watching disassociation or something like right here. That is quite uncomfortable, my loves. She has absolutely incredible cheekbones. Uh, oh my teeth. Oh. oh, Annabelle. Wow. I like it. Oh. How massive are her bazoomers? You look amazing. I'm not used to this. <laughs> well, you better get used oh to it. Oh my gosh. Wow. Do you feel frumpy anymore? No. Well, you have yourself to thank, and of course, you have all these wonderful oh experts God. to thank. Guys, well done. When the doors opened and Andrea walked in, I was very startled by her transformation. She had come such a far away from point A to point B. I was really, really happy. Oh my God. Love it. Oh my! I feel like she's been coerced. Like this doesn't feel. Andrea looked like a knockout supermodel, and I was blown away. She looked amazing. Her smile just brightened up her face when she walked through the doors.
I feel a bit dirty watching that. That was not a, an enjoyable experience at all. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. I feel like Andrea had a lot of emotions then and went to a place of self-preservation in her mind. That's what I'm, the vibe that I'm getting, my loves. I don't know if you would agree with me with that. Maybe I'm reading a bit too much into it. I don't know. And her her chest was so big. It looked almost like a bit out of place on her frame. It's time to meet her competition. Oh, Illuminati Belinda girls. Belinda. Illuminati. Experts. Come on, cult. I really want to talk about Belinda because she had the looks and the life. Is there more people now? Girl dreams of. God, what but hateful hair extensions the dentist the way. has. Dr. Yanni, now she achieved her dream and learned to love herself again. You know, I think Belinda worked so hard in therapy and was so brave in facing all of her issues that she's learning to love herself for the very this, first time. This this woman doesn't blink. She's not real. She's an android. She doesn't blink. Right. Well, Greg, I know that her biggest physical goal was to Hateful lose weight. Shoes. In fact, that was her major insecurity, right? Absolutely. Whoa. How far were you able to take her in the gym? At the end, 32 pounds. Awesome job. You That's really insane. kicked her in shape. 32. She did it herself, and we had a good time doing it. Well, I know you're all desperate to see the new Keep Belinda. But first, then. let me take you back to what she looked like on her first day. My dream for myself is to learn to know that I deserve someone to treat me good. You do deserve. Well, it's time oh. to see if Belinda's become a model again. Here she is, the transformed Belinda Besant. Oh, come on, girl. Everybody clap. Open the doors. Yes. Illumination. Ooh, leader of the coven. Wow. That was a gorgeous dress. Belinda, oh my God. It, just on a side note, it must be so difficult to like walk into this room and have everyone like clapping and looking at you whilst you still haven't even looked at yourself. It must be the most bizarre experience. Wow. I don't know what I'd do. I'd be like, ah, gout. How are you? I'm good. Julian, I'm good. are you looking? You work in a girl. Come do the catwalk with me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Belinda, you did say that you can't be happy with the outside unless you're happy with the inside first. That is very true. That's one thing I've learned in my time here is that still another wispy fringe. The inside, and I'm just happy. I'm happy with who I am right now. <gasps> You're shaking. That is an excellent no. way I'm shaking to with anticipation. Live. Seeing the new you, right? Quivering in anticipation. <laughs> the time has come. Belinda, behind that curtain lies a mirror. Bing bong, now, in just a moment, bong, I'm going to ask you to walk bong, up to the curtain. Bing bong, bong. When you are ready, the mirror will be revealed. Step up for me, please. <gasps> oh, Illuminati girl! Come on, mirrors and curtains. <gasps> Come on, cameraman, rotate for your wealth. Melinda, you ready? Ooh. I wonder how many short times I have to stand at this mirror and be like, Right, we see the buttock for some reason, okay. Oh my god. <gasps> Is this a good reaction? Think? Oh. Oh my God. Oh, Belinda. Oh, oh I don't. Gosh. Is, is that good? good? <laughs> I'm assuming these are tears of happiness. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm so happy. Oh. I can't believe it. <sighs> Gorgeous. And that lip color was an excellent choice. Amazing? Wow. Congratulations, you did it. <laughs> Thank you. I was amazed. Your transformation was truly incredible. Vampires, so all of you. Walk into the room. I realized her dedication and commitment Gorgeous. Had finally paid off. Gorgeous girls. Wow. Okay. Oh. 
Bingley, Bingley, Bongley, Beverly Hill. So just before we move on, I feel like that was a completely different reaction to the level of transformation than we saw with Andrea. What do you think? I, I almost feel like Andrea, from, from, from what we've seen so far, I don't feel like Andrea was like mentally ready to go on this show. Or potentially maybe never would have been mentally ready to go on a show like this. So I feel like, I don't know, I feel conflicted. That was, that was a lot. All right, who goes to the pageant, girls? Welcome back to the swan. Oh, come it's on, time girl. to find out if our judges, in consultation with our experts, have decided whether Belinda If my bodice is going to be worn to next week. Pageant. Let's bring them out. Let's bring them out, girls. Gentlemen. Gentlemen, start your engines and get gout. I feel like two very different Meeting emotions ladies. are happening there. One of you is about to move forward to the pageant. You could be crowned the swan. Now, along with that Her skin title, looks incredible. Cash and prizes worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. You've been judged on beauty, poise. Poise? How? Overall transformation. You've been judged on overall transformation. So whoever gets the most the transformed the wins. Who's been chosen to go to the pageant. I actually don't know. I don't know who it could be yet. Good luck to both of you. I feel like her bosoms are far. Are they very large? Very large. Who has earned a place in the pageant tonight? Come on, come on, girls. Who's who's going? Ah, ah. Is is. Belinda Bassan. <gasps> oh my God! Congratulations. That's the happiest we've seen Andrea so far. I think Belinda made it to the pageant because she thought, I'm on a quest, I'm going to accomplish it, and she did it. No, I have, a, I have a very different idea about why Belinda's made it to the pageant. I have a feeling that maybe production just didn't like Andrea very much. Not saying that Belinda didn't deserve to go to the pageant from the level of work and dedication she's put in, but I feel like some other things have definitely been going on in this episode. I'm so happy for her. Andrea didn't make it to the pageant because she still has a long way to go on the inside, and I'm hoping that this show got her started. Linda, congratulations. Thank you can continue hoping, sis. <gasps> oh, but you don't get to see your family. Just one second while I say goodbye to Andrea. Go on to the naughty step, Belinda. You have come through such an incredible journey. Yes. How are you feeling right now? I still have some work I need to do, so... And you know, that's okay. It's like you know, her personality okay has been that. really I let you go, muted. I have one last surprise. Okay, okay. Oh, come on. Fabergé eggs for everybody. I feel like I can't even make that joke. I don't feel happy at all right now. Puppies. A child. Oh, look at the emotion. Oh, is he? She was beautiful. When I first saw Andrew, she just looked incredible. It was I knew she was gonna cry, but uh, it was it was incredible. She looked beautiful. Oh, she was beautiful before as well. Oh, everybody else. I can't imagine seeing your family after all this time. The emotions. Andrea looks wonderful. Just a new person, from what I can see. Oh. oh, look at those chunky piano highlights, girl. The Swan program helped me get to the point where I see that there's so much more to life than what I was living. I win either way. I've already gotten so much. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, you I hope, I hope, sincerely hope that that wasn't a planted sentence and you genuinely feel like progress has been made in your life, my lovely, because if not, this show has got a lot to answer for. So beautiful, Linda. Belinda. Me. Oh, you did it, girl. Oh, next Monday, the transformations continue as two more women vie for a spot on this the most unusual competition a kiss. ever <laughs> devised. Who will be named the Swan? That little like bit at the end is so awkward. Like the contestant just has to sort of stand there and be like, "Oh my gosh." Oh my gosh, my lovelies. Okay, uh, I'm gonna push my laptop away from me there and take out my ohhenger because I really am left for the first time feeling 
like I don't actually want to continue watching this show, that episode and the way that the overarching storyline about Andrea's situation has made me feel really quite sick actually that level of like this this sort of like blame game that the the that the producers were trying to put on her is obscene i feel so disheartened watching that because like i we know this show is bad the things we've covered up until every episode until right, literally right now has been awful i feel like this episode has kind of taken the biscuit it's been so extreme we've seen this wonderful transformation happen with belinda and she's pushed through and shown that she's like really actually quite a capable fantastic woman that deserves to be loved and we've also seen on the other hand this storyline of like Andrea being painted as this like aggressive, rude, um, upset, like emotional outburst lady who who's like got a load of growth to do. And this show has done like nothing to help that. It's so strange. And her transformation at the end, like, I don't know about you, but I didn't expect her transformation to be going quite to those levels. Her chest was an interesting, I don't know, was, all I can think about is like, did she ask for that? Did she really ask for that? That was a lot, girls. That was a lot. Let me know what you guys think in the comments box below. I feel like I have to go and do something else now. I'm going to go and stream on Twitch after this. So hopefully that will take my mind off it and make me feel a lot better. Talking about Twitch, today's Twitch shout out goes to Devil Sailor. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning woman on the game. And that's also a little bit of a name that I like, the Devil Sailor. That's so cool. If you want to go and follow me over on Twitch, it is Luxaria Plays and I stream stream three nights a week, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And if you follow, you'll be in with a chance of being featured in my next video's Twitch shout out. Once again, I want to say a massive thank you to my Patreons. You can see yourselves all on the screen right here. And I might actually be trying out something new with my Patreon layout, as you can probably see scrolling and happening right now, my lovelies. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for all the love you guys are giving me and allowing my channel to thrive and survive. Next stop, 100k subscribers, girls. And once again, I want to say a massive thank you and a huge shout out to my top tier Patreons and channel members. Erwin Fox, Stephanie Neotupski, Erin Conkle, Magusta Lagu, Steph Utech, Caitlin Wright, Dana Broderick, Moldy Apple, Orko Samoji, Jared Pavlovsky, Jodia, Summer Neff, Shell Herman, and Victoria Waldock. And with that, my lovelies, I I don't really know what to leave this, this video on. Make sure that those around you know that you love them. I think that's a great way to leave. And with that, my loves, I will see you in the next video. <gasps> yeah.